hello guys in this video we are going to learn that how you can create attendance tracker in an excel file basically attendance tracker is going to help you to track the attendance of your employees okay before i start i request you to please subscribe my channel and click on below bell icon to get the notifications and please do not forget to share this video with your friends if you like it so i'm going to explain various feature of excel in this video so after watching this video you will be able to perform various action in an excel file okay so on my screen you can see that i have all the employee names listed here from my organization so what i'm going to do i'm going to divide all these team member within three teams so i can mention team name team one team two team three so what you need to do you need to select all these by pressing shift down key and copy this and paste it at b5 cell and then go down and paste it again and go down select the blank cell and paste it again okay so i can remove this team 3 so now i have these 11 team member who are divided within these three teams okay and now i'm going to track the attendance so in my organization i maintain planned leave unplanned leave sick leave and the attendance okay so what i need to do i need to put the date on the top line so that is first of march and why i'm writing one dash three the reason is because on my screen you can see the date format is set 23 march 21 okay it is dd mm yyyy format so you need to check what kind of date format you are maintaining on your pc and similarly you need to use the date format okay then to get the next date you just select the first date press plus key and then press one and enter now copy this and paste it till 31 column okay so that you can get all the 31 dates of the month okay so we have this now so what we are going to do we are going to maintain the attendance okay so let me put the attendance for all the teammates okay and let me mark it presence at this moment okay copy this select the above cell and press control right arrow key okay once you press that press down arrow key only by leaving the control key and then press shift control and left arrow key okay it will be selecting the last cell and all the cells along with it then you need to press Control r so whenever you want to drag the values from left to right you need to select the left filled cell and select the blank cell and press Control r okay so that is how you can just copy the left filled cell to the right cells so what you need to do copy this p go down till this c12 by pressing shift down arrow key and then press Control shift and right arrow key it will select all the cells and then press Control v or Control d okay so when you want to fill down the value from the above cell you can press Control d and if you want to paste you can press Control v so that is how you can paste it now what we are going to do we are going to just uh, mark random attendance for the pl ul and sl so what do i mean with that planned leave unplanned leave sick leave so let me put pl here let me put pl there so let me fill this random i'm just pasting it here and there let me mark pl also so it looks good so if you want to put some more random values so you can paste it okay so it looks good now now what i'm going to do i want to count the planned leave sick leave unplanned leave for these employees in different columns so what i can do i can insert few columns here like three four columns and what i can mention here like pl ul presents and sick leave okay now if you want to count the planned leaves for this employee from this range how you can do that you need to like type count if s and then bracket on criteria range one so we know this is the criteria range and as you know that we are going to copy this formula and filling it down so what we need to do we need to fix the column range we need to put dollar before g and dollar before ak so these are the columns so i'm putting dollar sign to fix this column range and i'm not fixing the row now i am pressing comma now criteria one i can go left and i can select this pl and then can press enter now you know that pl is also fixed then the first row is basically fixed so you need to press dollar sign before one so we want to fix this first row 
now i just press enter now copy this and just paste it down okay so we have this now we just counted the planned lease for each employee okay you can see that carolina has taken the most of the lease three we can copy this formula and paste it right paste it right paste it right now you can see that it is showing me 31 presents for david the reason because there is no plan leave, there is no plan leave, there is no sick leave. Also, you have noticed that I have just copied this formula and pasted it here and it works automatically. The reason is because we fixed the columns at the beginning while writing the formula. So that is how you can remember this trick. And whenever you will be pasting this formula to the right side, you will see that formula is not changing. It is just changing the criteria, okay, that it is selecting the UL. The reason is because we fixed the first row. Hope you understood this. If you still have questions, you can just comment below. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to select all these. Let me align all these values middle and on the top also I can align it middle. Now it looks good. Now what I wanted to do, I wanted to check where we have weekly offs. What I can do, I can either go to this calendar and I can see the Saturday, Sunday are falling on 6th and 7th. Okay, but I don't want that. I want it to be auto driven by the formula. So what we need to do, we need to select all these dates, go to conditional formatting and here we have this new rule and select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here you need to write weekday formula. But before that, because see, if you write weekday formula, it will not be showing some suggestions to you. So what you can do, just cancel it out. Go here, select any blank cell just below 1st of March. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use weekday function to determine what is this day. Okay, so I need to type week, day and then bracket on. If you want to learn more about this weekday function, what you need to do, you just go to my channel and just watch five Excel date function. Okay, in that I have listed this video and I have explained this video with different example and you will be able to understand this. So just go there and watch it. Now I brought this weekday and bracket on. I am selecting this date and putting comma return type so i'm considering i'm using this too because i want to consider monday as my first day and seventh is the sunday so i'm double click on that i'm pressing enter and i can see weekday here so i need to fix this first row the reason is because i want to play with these all dates okay automatically in the conditional formatting so i am just pressing this one you know that my monday is first day okay and my saturday is sixth day and sunday is seventh day okay so you understand this now what you will be doing you will be copying this formula you need to select the g1 cell that is the first date and then press shift control right arrow key and once you press that you can see the conditional formatting okay then go to new rule and here you have use a formula to determine which cells to format okay and i'm just uh, putting it like this v day g12 if equal to 6 so i need to use or formula also because i want to consider sunday also as a week off okay i need to copy this formula the same formula put comma here and paste the same formula and change 6 to 7 so 6th is my saturday and 7th is my sunday and if that is the case i need to change the color of those days so i can like put orange okay you need to select fill select this orange color and click ok and once you do that you need to click ok again and you can see automatically all the Saturday Sundays have been highlighted here so you can just go directly there and put W O okay we go so just copy it and paste it copy this and paste it in other cells also so that is the small shortcut else you can write it manually by checking your calendar okay i cannot use formula here the reason is because if you are thinking that you want this wo to appear automatically here then we need to use macro okay excel macros because we are using values we are writing these values manually here so we cannot use formula here because this date day may change so let me remove this now what i'm going to do i'm going to display this p in green PL in orange color and unplanned leave in the red color, sick leave could be in yellow color. So I'm just using the condition formatting. So what I need to do, I need to select G2 cell, okay, where you can see this P, press shift control down and then 
right okay and keep pressing your shift control key and right arrow key it will select all the data go left and we can see this data clearly here now go to condition formatting again go to new rule and under new rule you will be seeing this user formula to determine which cells to format and here so type equal to sign then g and it is two okay we are not going to fix anything here the reason is because we will be playing with all these cells so the formula will change automatically in condition formatting for all these cells so do not fix anything press equal to sign and here you can write p in the inverted comma we want this to be displayed in green color so i can see this green press ok press ok again and you can see all the presents have been highlighted in green okay now what you need to do you need to perform the same action like shift control down then right keep pressing your shift control key now we are going to highlight all the unplanned leaves in the red color go to condition formatting press new rule and here you can see use a formula to determine which cells to format and uh, here you need to type again g2 okay that is the first cell so you need to understand which cell you are selecting first that will be called out here and it will automatically change the reference for all other cells so type equal to sign uh, g2 cell and then equal to press key ul in the inverted comma and then go to formatting in the formatting you can just use red color for unplanned leaves and click ok okay you can see the unplanned leaf is highlighted in red now you need to perform the same action again for weekly offs also so we can just keep the weekly offs gray like type equal to sign g2 and then in the inverted comma type wo and press format and here you have this color click ok click ok now all the weekly offs have been highlighted in gray go to condition formatting back okay select new rule use a formula equal to sign g2 equal to sign and here you need to type pl uh, in the inverted comma and when you will be writing the formula do not use the arrow keys always use your cursor the reason is because when you will be pressing left or right or down arrow key it will be giving you some references here so let me press left arrow key you can see the, it is showing me some reference so do not do that okay just uh, press backspace key if you want to remove something go to format again in the fill because this is plant leaf i want to showcase these plant leaf in yellow or orange we can select and then press ok ok and then click ok again you can see all the plant leaves are highlighted in yellow go back in the condition formatting press new rule and here you have a user formula to determine which cells to format here just press equal to sign g2 equal to sl and go to this format and use yellow color for sickly so just put sl in the inverted comma press ok now you can see all the dates have been highlighted in this okay but we can see that it is not looking good these dates so you can keep it in green or dark green we can use so select all the dates by like selecting the first date shift control and right arrow key go to condition formatting and here you can select new rule go to use a formula to determine which cells to format you need to type or and you need to use the same formula the weekday if you remember that okay so you need to type weekday here uh, you need to type g dollar one and uh, here you need to type two so what we need to do we need to provide the condition that if it is not equal to six and seven then it should be green so hope you understand that six and seven uh, so what we are saying here that in the or formula we are saying either of the condition is not true then all those cells should be highlighted in dark green okay and what does it mean that we are saying that this weekday if it is equal to six or seven then it will uh, like consider the orange color first and not this green color you click ok again now we can see all the dates have been highlighted in dark green so select all the dates again go to condition formatting select manage rules and here we can see the first rule is the green one okay so what we need to do we need to put it down okay and need to press apply and click okay so now you can see it is considering this rule as first so now we understand it and uh, it is working very amazing now we can just create some borders here 
so just create borders here and if you don't like these lines uh, these grid lines because i don't like it i always remove it i can just uh, go to view and under view i can just untick this grid line and i don't see this grid line now it looks good to me and let me change this also a little bit go to home and uh, here i can use some other color like this okay and on the top you can use dark one does it look good you can change these color as per your convenience okay or else if you want to use the light color you can use this okay we can see it looks good so that is how you can create your attendance tracker hope you like this video if you have any questions you can just comment on the below section and i will be explaining this thank you for watching this video please do not forget to share this video with your friends thank you